Hello everybody, it's Captain Hooch here. Today we're going to do a quick and dirty base assault tutorial. We're in Elite Dangerous Horizons and we're approaching Metcalf Keep. This is a popular base for doing Imperial rank grind. First thing we want to do is spot the anti-aircraft guns. Looks like we got a few of them to take out. So we'll go ahead and get ourselves lined up for the first pass. You don't need to put power in your weapons as missiles don't draw that much power. So all you want to do is get in close Launch your missiles, try to hit the generator or the guns directly. The splash damage will generally take care of everything around it. Don't try to circle around the base, just do straight line passes, that way you take the least amount of damage. Don't bother trying to do this with lasers or kinetic weapons, stick to missiles, it's the fastest. So we'll go ahead and get the last three turrets on this pass. Now this one, I don't know exactly where the generator is, but we can just hit it directly, and as you'll see, it takes it out. Okay, that one's down. Now we have to worry about the Goliath. If the base you're assaulting has a Goliath, you want to kill this thing, as it can actually be a threat to some ships. It just spams missiles, but we also have missiles and multi cannons, which are sufficient enough to kill this thing rather quickly. Once we've taken out the Goliath, you may want to consider taking out the rest of the base defenses. A bunch of these little skimmers and those small turrets will do some damage to your SRV. But these are very easy to dispatch. You can just take out the skimmers quickly with your multi-cannons. I recommend using Gimbal for this. The skimmers will be easy to spot. Despite their small size, they do emit a bit of a blue light around them as they scan the area. So they kind of stick out like sore thumbs against the dull gray background. Finally, we can take out the turrets. Lasers and multi-cannons are fine, but missiles are always faster. These are of no threat to your ship. You only have to get rid of these if you plan on landing with the SRV. Don't even worry about being too accurate with the missiles. As long as you land in the general area, you will take out the turret with the splash damage. And there's our last one, so now we can set our ship down and get out in the SRV. Once you're on the ground, feel free to roll around the base like you own the place, because basically, right now, you do. Locate the comm links. Locate anything you can use your data link scanner on. Locate the generators. Get a feel for the layout of the base, so that if you do come in to assault it without taking out all the defenses, you know all the nooks and crannies. Look for little places like this where you can get up on top. Because you may find things up here, such as data points and, uh this comms dish, which we can hack for a mission. Although this one at Metcalf can be taken from the ground, I kind of like coming up here, it's more fun. And once you've got all that done and you're satisfied with what you've found here, what you've done here, get back on the ground and return to your ship. Pat yourself on the back, you've just taken out a base entirely by yourself.